DJ here with the Chief Peak, and today we have a 26 minute resistance band upper body workout. We're gonna be doing eight total exercises and we're gonna be doing them in groups of supersets. We're gonna do three sets of each superset. Our working time is 40 seconds, our break time is 20 seconds, and in between the different groups of supersets, we'll then take a 40 second extended break. All of these exercises, we will remain standing, so you won't need a mat for any of these. Now let's get to work. All right, so we got about uh, 30 seconds remaining until we begin. Our first exercise is gonna be drag curls. I'll show you that. So for these, we're gonna get here, stand on the band, and then we're actually just gonna pull it right up our side and curl, squeeze that bicep. So that's what we're gonna be doing there. For our second exercise, we're gonna be doing tricep kickbacks. So what we'll do is we'll be bent over, arms parallel roughly, and then we're gonna kick it back. Here we go, all right, let's get ready. So drag curls, here we go. Squeeze it up, nice squeeze, come back down. Good controlled movement, focus on that squeeze, focus on that contraction right up there, squeeze, there we go. Squeeze as we get to the top, all the way down, good controlled movements. There we go. That's a drag curl. Come on. Control that breathing. Let's get one more. All right, there we go. 20 seconds and we're going into tricep kickbacks. So for tricep kickbacks, again, it was a little rushed before. Stand on it, we're gonna bend over nice straight back and we're gonna kick it back. Just like that. Here we go, a couple seconds left. Here we go. Get that squeeze. Good controlled breathing here. Try not to strain your neck, you're working your triceps, not your neck. Control your breathing, here we go. Get that contraction, squeeze. Good controlled movements. There we go. Come on. Let's burn them up. There we go. All right, 20 seconds, we're going back into drag curls. If uh, drag curls are a little tough for you, you can just go into a normal curl, bringing it out in front. Here we go. Remember, good controlled movements. Focus on that contraction up top. Squeeze. There we go. Come on. Feeling good. Feeling that pump coming on. Uh, 10 seconds, let's go. Squeeze it. Uh, get that burn in. There we go. All right, going into our second set of tricep kickbacks. Ooh, feeling good already. Those uh, drag curls kind of give you a little pump in the back too, upper back, those traps. Here we go. Tricep kickbacks. Feeling the burn. Oh yeah. Catching on fire. Push yourself. If it was easy that first set, go up and wait a little bit. If it gets too hard, you can always drop back down. Here we go. 15 seconds left. Good controlled movements. Squeeze. One more. Woo! Here we go. All right, we're going into our last set of drag curls and tricep kickbacks. Doing a little quick burnout of the arms. 
the secondary muscles before we work chest and back. So let's get ready for drag curls. Here we go. Good controlled movements. Let's get that squeeze, get a little hold up top. Hold, hold. Oh, there we go. Go for a couple seconds. One, two, three. Woo. There we go. Let it get pumped up. Come on. Hold it. Squeeze and hold, baby. Come on. Let's hold it. Let's hold it. All right. Here we go. Good set right there. Now the tough part is doing that for triceps. Woo. This one, uh, got a blue and yellow band here. These things are actually pretty tough. Let's go. Little bands are kick your butt too. Come on. Get that squeeze. Hold it. All right, down. Get the squeeze and hold. Woo! Feeling it light on fire. Come on. Let's push it. There we go. Extend and squeeze. And down. Extend and squeeze, and down. All right, last one. Extend and squeeze, down. Woo, there we go. Kind of feel it in, uh, in the rear delts too, right back here as well. All right, so we got 40 seconds, and we're going into band chest press, followed by bit over reverse rows. So for chest press, you got a few options. You can wrap it in between the armpits, and then push. Or you can grab it a little bit differently. Sometimes it's a little weird to get started. There we go. And go around the outside of your back and shoulders, I guess. Both times you're going around your back. Duh. All right, anyways, chest press right here. So both hands, same time. If you can do it around your shoulders, that's always good. If not, through the armpits is fine too. Here we go. Good controlled movements. Get that squeeze. And squeeze, squeeze that chest. Feel that contraction right there in the center. There we go, good controlled movements. Good controlled breathing. Come on, last one right here. There we go. All right, we're going into bent over reverse rows. So, bent over reverse rows. We're gonna grab our bands, step on them one to two feet, and then we're gonna face our palms away from us. And then pull that back to our belly button. There we go, bent over reverse rows. Again, you want a nice straight back. You do not wanna be like this, trying to do these. That's no good. Nice straight back, chest slightly pushed out. Here we go. Pull those bands to your belly button, palms facing away from you. Here we go, come on. Good controlled movements. Squeeze that back. Come on, last one. Squeeze. Woo, there we go. All right, going back into chest press. We've got 20 second break. Feeling good. So there's a couple different ways. Hold this, ah, oh, there we go. I usually like the bands on the outside of my hands. Here we go. Finally got it there this time. Last time I had it on the inside. It's really just a preference. There we go. Get that contraction, really squeeze out there, squeeze it together, flex that chest. There we go. Again here, you still want a nice straight back when you're doing these. You don't want to be hunched over like this. Doing that number, that's no good. Nice straight back. 
chest out, and then push, and then push. Here we go, last one. Ah, there we go. All right, going back into reverse rows. For these, uh, you could also sit if you wanted. If it's a little too stressful on your back, you can uh, you can sit down and do these too. Here we go. Remember, palms out, and then you're gonna bring bring your arms up by your side. Here we go. Just kind of bring it right up your thighs to the waist belly button area. And you're golden. All the way down all the way up. Full range of motion, good controlled movement. And as always, don't forget to breathe. Let's go. Squeeze. Squeeze. Ooh, there we go. All right, last set right here. Going back in a chest press. Just push it. I think it's the way I bring it up that does it. I don't know. I mess it up every time holding the bands. Now it's on the inside. Oh well. Here we go. Press. Chest press. Here we go. Let's push it. Come on. Get that squeeze in. Squeeze. Squeeze. There we go. Maintain that nice straight back. Here we go. Come on. A couple seconds left. We got five seconds left. Squeeze it. One more rep. Woo. There we go. All right. Getting that chest pumped up. Going back to reverse rows. Last set right here. Push yourself on these. Let's go a couple seconds left. Let's get ready. Here we go. Palms out. Slight bend in your knees too. Here we go. Squeeze. Here we go. All the way up, all the way down. Good controlled movements. Let's get a little hold here. There we go. Come on, let's keep that up. Squeeze, come on, come on. There we go. All right, last one. Squeeze it. We're not done yet. All right, we're done. Good job. Woo. All right, we got the 40 second break. We're going back into a chest press. But what we're actually going to be doing is one at a time, we're going to do a full crossover on them. So, let's get ready for that. Let me see how I do this. Hmm. So now I mess it up every time I swear. Yep, so that's on the wrong side. There we go. And then I'm going to figure this out. So for these, instead of both, we're just going to do one at a time, and we're going to cross over the center of our chest each time. Here we go. Good controlled movements. Cross over, really get that squeeze. You can also go a little bit higher. Try to focus on that upper chest. Just make sure that if you have it behind your shoulders like I do, that uh, you're not going too high because with the round bands, they do have a tendency to roll sometimes. Here we go. Good controlled movement. Get that squeeze. There we go. Feel it in there. Last one. Ah, there we go. All right, so now we're going into alternating clean pulls. So at the halfway point, we, uh, we're gonna switch through. Maybe this man, let's see. So it might be a little too heavy. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay, so for clean pulls, we're gonna do a squat and then we're gonna pull it up. Squat, pull it up. So it's pretty much a squat to an upright row. We're simulating cleans 
without flipping our wrists and elbows. Last one till we switch. All right, let's switch. Working that upper back, the traps and shoulders. Finally getting a little leg action in here on upper body day. Just means we're gonna burn more calories. Come on, last one. There we go. All right, we're going back into chest press crossovers. All right, one day I'm gonna get this right. Nope, nope, nope. Not today, apparently. Maybe I can go like that. Is that it? Oh, there we go. All right, cool. Figured it out. All right, chest press crossovers. Hardest part of my day, figuring out how to get the bands on the outside of my hands. Whew, tough day. First one problems. Go, let's slow it down. Not in a rush. Good clean movements. Squeeze, squeeze. Remember to go past the center line on the chest. Get that full contraction. Let's get one more. There we go, I gotta even it out. Can't do the opposite amount on each hand. All right, we're going back into clean pulls. Just put that band down. I'm trying to do this one from the side a little bit, just so you can see a little better. There we go. So squat and then pull. Squat and then pull. Here we go. All right, we're gonna switch after this one. All right, let's switch it. We go, good controlled movements. 10 seconds left. Let's go. There oh, we go. All right, 20 seconds. We're going into our last set of chest press crossovers and clean pulls. All right, so I figured, I think I figured it out. Was it? Oh gosh, not again. It is like this. Like this? Nope. All right, I messed it up again. Oh, one day. One day I'm gonna get this right for every set. Oh, and the wrong one. Chest press crossovers. Apparently it's do as I say day, not as I do. Good controlled movements, squeeze. Here we go. Remember to control that breathing. Here we go. All right, last set of clean pools. And then we are on to our fourth and final super set. Let's get ready. Here we go. Clean pulls. Working that upper back and shoulder. Let's go. Switching after this one. Looks like I got one thing right today. I was able to remember to switch. Here we go. Come on. 10 seconds. Let's get two more. Last one. Here we go. All right, we got a 40 second break and we're going into shoulder press. So we got shoulder press and then W raise or reverse flies, whichever one you're more comfortable doing. So shoulder press, we're gonna be here like that. And then for W raise, we're gonna have a little bit bent over stance. And then we're going to externally rotate at the shoulders and out. So from the front, it's going to look like this. 
making a W. There we go. All right, so let's get ready for shoulder press. For these, if your band isn't long enough, you can also sit on the ground and then just put the band under your butt and do shoulder press that way. I know I said we weren't going to be sitting down, but sometimes you just have to. Good controlled movements. Squeeze all the way up, all the way down. Here we go. Let's get one more. Last one. Here we go. All right, we're going into W raise here. So I uh, demonstrated W raise reverse flies. What we're gonna do, we'll probably have to actually not grab the handle. And from here, we're just gonna go out that way. So whichever one you feel more comfortable doing. The reason I uh, offered reverse flies is uh, because some people don't like pulling the band towards their face. So I wanted to give you an option. Let me take up a little more band here. For W raise also, it doesn't have to be a ton of weight. You just need to be able to feel it. Come on. Ah. Woo. So for W raise, we're gonna get a lot more uh, rotator cuff action in there. You know, the reverse flies, you're gonna get a lot of rear delts, a lot more rear delts, I should say. So we're going back into shoulder press right here. Now I'm starting to break a sweat. I have the heater on. Let's go. Shoulder press, second set. I'm almost done with this baby. Feeling good. And then I gotta go attempt to swing my golf clubs after doing an upper body workout. Definitely not gonna be getting my Tiger Woods on today. That might not ever happen anyways. But I can dream. Come on. Good controlled movements all the way up, all the way down. Come on, five seconds left. Let's go. Last one. Woo. Here we go. Feel it. Ooh, shoulders are pumped up. All right. We got uh, just over 10 seconds till our next set. So for this set, I'm going to do reverse flies. So I'll probably get, yeah, it looks like that. Here we go. Reverse flies or W raise. I'm doing reverse flies now. So for these, we want to keep those palms back or face back behind us instead of at us. Some people have a tendency to go palms facing each other and go out. And I think it's better with palms back. You're really going to focus on the rear delts. But you can try either. Whichever one you feel works best for you, then do that one. Again, with both of these, though, you still want a nice straight back. Woo! Come on! Ah, there we go. Woo! I'm sweating now. All right. Ten seconds till shoulder press. Final set. All right. We got a minute and 20 left of working time. We're out of here. Let's go! Push yourself. Good controlled movements, full range of motion. Let's go. Let's push it. Feel that burn in the shoulders. Ah, come on. Let's go. 10 seconds. Let's push it out. Uh, uh, last one. Uh, woo. That's brutal. I like it. All right, W raise or reverse flies. 
Let's get ready. Last one. Push it out. Let's get ready. Here we go. I'm going back to W raise, switching it up. Here we go, let me turn sideways for you. So you can see we're externally rotating at the shoulders. We're not doing like an upright row. Upright row is more this. We're rotating backwards. So we're pulling it up, rotating back. Pulling it up, rotating back. Woo! There we go. All right. We are finished. If you like this workout, hit that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to leave us a comment. Let us know what you thought about this video and what kind of videos you want to see in the future. See you guys.